All right, guys, hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're gonna cover very quickly how to use pre-comps in After Effects. So here I have a bunch of text here. And let's say I wanted to start making changes to the text, like I wanted to change the size of all of my text here and so on. And I didn't wanna to have to go through every single layer and work with each uh, scale or position or so on. How could I make the change to the entire text uh, in just one move? Well, what I could do is I could pre-comp it. And what a pre-comp is, it's basically a composition within another composition. So I'm gonna show you this. So you just highlight all of your text here, or all of your layers, right click, and then you go up to pre-compose. Notice that this new uh, window pops up and we can give it a name, so we'll call it text pre-comp. And then we have an option here, we can leave all the attributes in the pre-comp. We don't have any attributes right now, so this isn't selected. We also have the option here to move all attributes into the new composition that we're going to create, so the text pre-comp. We also have the option to adjust the composition duration to the time span of our layers, so it's around 2 seconds and 15 frames. And, and with this, if we had like a layer that was say 10 seconds long, it would make the composition 10 seconds because After Effects is gonna take the longest layer and set that for your duration. And then we have the option to open new composition. So I'm gonna select okay. Notice what happens. Our new pre-comp open called text pre-comp. And if we right click on it and go up to composition settings, you will notice that all of your settings have been taken from your original pre-comps layer. So that's where I got the settings from. And you have your name up here, which you set it to. So I'm going to press OK. And if we go back out here, we have now a composition layer. And if we want to make a change to all of it, we are able to do that very easily. We can move it where we want it to be. And notice especially that it's the size of your original layer. So that's how you can quickly work with uh, pre-comps and After Effects. It's very helpful, especially when you have a lot of layers. So I hope that you will give this a try, and we will see you in the next tutorial. Until next time.